Hey guys, it's Forrest or Dave here. Today I've got another top five tips video to help you drop the perfect smokes for your team as my favorite agent at the moment, Brimstone. Since the release of Ranked in the Valorant closed beta, I've been almost exclusively playing Brimstone as my main agent. When I played CSGO, I wasn't the biggest fan of learning all the lineups for different smokes and also expecting my team to know the other lineups to fully smoke a site was a bit annoying. Brimstone has enabled me to cover almost all the smoke duties in a round and I'm loving how much I can dictate the pace of a round. I've got five unique tips today for playing Brimstone, mainly focusing on his smokes with an extra bit here and there. So be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell down below. Let's get started. So my first tip today is gonna to be a general one that actually goes against the grain of my typical tips, and that is to learn an attack smoke setup for every point on every map. Now, there are currently only three maps in the game, each with a couple of sites and a couple of routes to those sites. In comparison to many other abilities in the game which require specific lineups to land your utility where you need it to land, there's a fraction of the smokes to learn and they're far easier to execute every time. Due to how Brimstone doesn't even need lineups to place his smokes, he just whips out his iPad and drops them down where he wants them. Knowing the best places to put all three smokes on almost every push you do will win your team a huge number of rounds at the moment, since defender positioning is still kind of all over the place unless you're at the really high ranks. Cutting off those key defender sightlines will lead to some easy bomb plants and hopefully some quick round wins. So get out there, look on YouTube, look for some attack setups with Brimstone. Maybe I'll do a video pretty soon if my Brimstone plays keep going as they're going. So uh, keep an eye out for that. My second tip today for Brimstone smokes is on the positioning of the smokes, specifically on doorways or on tight entrances. When smoking an enemy position, the smoke obviously should cover the whole doorway left to right so that they have no way to peek around it. But it should also be positioned so that the large part of the smoke circle sits toward the enemy side of the doorway. This is the correct position for the smoke as it requires the enemies to expose themselves fully past the doorway in order to get any sight on the room that they're entering. This in turn exposes them to far more angles than they would be if they were to slowly wide peek the corner as you'd expect them to if they were good players. If you place the smoke with the large side on your side of the door, then it would instead allow the enemies to push closer to you into the room and come out of multiple sides of the smoke, potentially even causing you to lose angles on them as they enter. It's a small tip that I know seems obvious, but I see it wrong so often, so make sure you follow it. Smoke timing is gonna be my next tip up here. So many times I see people in defense smoke the top of corridors like long A on heaven or long B on bind. Now, this is definitely a good idea. However, many times the smokes are dropped far too early into the round. Specifically, I see people instantly dropping smokes like these at early points in the round. Firstly, if you haven't even got any intel that there are enemies attacking from those corridors, then the smoke is a complete waste, so get the intel first. More importantly than that though, if the enemies are planning a push up a corridor like that, an early smoke at the top of the corridor literally gives the enemy a chance to push up the corridor to the smoke completely undeterred, by which point the smoke will likely run out and they can then attack really easily. Or they could react to your smoke and decide to push somewhere else completely different. Instead, what you should do is hold off until you know the enemies are pushing, either by visual intel or the sound of footsteps as they proceed up the corridor. Then smoke the end of the corridor, following the position I explained in tip two. At this point, the enemy has now committed to the corridor push and will struggle to drop back through the corridor as they'll likely run into lurkers from your team. By waiting a few seconds and for some key intel on enemy positions, you've now effectively trapped some enemies in that corridor and forced an advantage for your team. Now, my fourth tip is a little different from all the ones so far. I'm actually gonna talk about a different ability, his ult, thank God. But more specifically, I'm gonna talk about comboing Brimstone's ult with, you guessed it, his smokes. If you have a spare smoke at some point in the round and you know an enemy is holding a tight angle or a corner position, or even better, a small room, you can drop the smoke on top of them and follow it up with an ult straight after. The interrupted vision makes it far harder for the enemy to quickly see and react to the ultimate about to drop in on them. 
so they're likely to get killed by it. Another combo for executes on bomb sites is to smoke off the key angles, as I detailed in tip 1, and then follow up with an ult onto one of the key positions enemies like to hold inside your smoke line. I'm talking about positions like the boxes outside of showers on bind A site, or the cubby under heaven on split A site. This kind of ult makes your teams push even more deadly, as the enemies are forced out of your route to site, giving you a higher chance of a round victory. My fifth and final tip today is an unconventional one that I barely ever see used, but I think it can be very useful. Sometimes you honestly don't need to smoke three different locations with your three smokes. Instead, multiple consecutive smokes on the exact same location can sometimes be a good idea, especially against five-man pushes through corridors like I mentioned in tip three. Extending a single smoke's duration twice or even three times will really confuse enemies as they wait endlessly for it to disappear. You've got to learn how long the smokes last and be sure to get the next one down just before the previous one ends so that you get the maximum amount of smoke time without giving the enemies even a short window to peek through. Try it out. There we go guys. Hopefully these five tips will give you guys something to think about and maybe the next time you play Brimstone you'll come up with some more unique ways to use smokes to help your team towards easy round victories. As I mentioned at the start of the video, be sure to subscribe for more tips and tricks videos coming very soon. Leave a like and leave a comment below telling me what your favourite thing about Brimstone is. It's been 4 all Dave here, and thanks very much for watching.